Well, hello, welcome to Drawing with Fire. I am Valor, your neighborhood biography artist, and I'm joined today with Bobby. Okay. Sorry, we were having technical difficulties, and look, I'm magic. I can hold it. My hand disappears. So the photo you're seeing right now is where we left off last live, and as soon as I make that go away, we will see where I am at now. Now, I have been updating in the Facebook group, but not this last one. So take a quick look, because I did play kind of a, a seek and find to figure out what changes I have made since last week. <coughs> Sorry. There we go. See, unfortunately, um, because one's a photo and one's a live camera, they don't look exactly the same. But there you go. I'll put that on. Obviously, the white is showing, so that tells you I did something there. Maybe not what you think. And that is, I needed to lay some white down, which I just used my General's pencil charcoal to do it in order to know where the highest highlights were in the water because I've done a lot of fixing to this piece. Um, trying to get things in the right place. It's been very frustrating, which is why we are going to talk about frustration today. Because it's neither good nor bad. And I think we're going to start over here. And there's a fern right here. But in order to finish working on the uh, mist, I think I need to get the fern in. So that's what we shall do first. Okay. So hopefully, hi Philip, Spence, David, hi Nancy, Troy. Hey. <laughs> so I don't know if I should leave the other picture up. I think I'll go ahead and take it down, maybe, if I can remember where I put the darn thing. All right, so I'm heating up my 9M because I need to be able to get into a little spot. But here, I'm having a little trouble working on the edge because this is a one and three quarter clearance uh, cradle board. My hand, to keep it steady, as you can see, is not easy. So what I've been using is a, what they call in painting, a uh, mall. Yes, mall. That's how it goes. And I'm using this to brace my hand in order to get these edges the way I want to. So we'll get started on the fern and we shall talk about frustration. Frustration in art is absolutely normal. We all feel it all the time. It is not bad. Some people uh, may have issue with it because for whatever reason frustration is viewed as bad but we can use it to improve our art and what I mean by that is I felt very frustrated with this piece I have felt frustrated so much so that I started a year ago and totally walked away from it and that's because it was and it's still in the ugly stage but it's coming together more and more. But if I had not stuck with this, I would never see it finished. I've learned a ton. And without this, I don't know if I would have grown as quickly as I have having worked on this. So for me, the frustration in the end well, there's been a couple times I've growled at this piece. There are cuss words floating around our heads still. Mm -hmm. I keep my head on the way in. <laughs> you, hit, you hit your head on the way in. It's thick. <laughs> hey, bro. But I am feeling better about this piece, and in feeling better about this piece, I've actually been working on it more, which is why I have the photo of it covering it so you could see how much has happened. I think I've put in like another six hours since the live. Um, right here is a fern and what I'm doing is trying 
to I'm just doing squiggles because I think I'm getting the better texture for it versus trying to sit there and do every leaf there is there's also a second fern so I'm gonna go out here yes Nikki Williams you made it in time hi Nikki welcome we're just getting started yeah uh, technical difficulties another frustration and what I learned from that was don't change anything Huh? <laughs> don't change anything I changed one setting and in doing that I couldn't go live so I uh, learned to just keep it I've been trying to make it look better all right so I'm kind of moving around like it is a conifer tree a pine tree because the leaves as they get further out from the fern gets smaller so I'm trying to use that texture to make it work here let's see here but they get a little bigger here and like I said there's a fern overlapping that is lighter so I'm trying to just block in so I know where everything is I can erase and then I can detail out I'd say the most that I've worked on lately is the water, which I'm not happy with this up here. I may change my mind. And again, that's frustration. I'm frustrated with this area, big time frustrated. I'm not getting the look that I want with this area. So I have a choice. I can keep going and working it until I get to where I think I want it. Or I can say, forget it and change it. And then changing it, not only will I learn something new, but maybe I will make it better than the original plan I had. Hey, Pete. So again, frust when you're so frustrated, sometimes you want to throw up your hands, and in doing that, you might try something new. It makes me want to take a nap. What, frustration? Yes. Um, it's not like everything can hurt your feet. All right. So... I feel like that, that's sort of a big comment. <laughs> Whenever I have to think about a, a no. complex concept, like let's say like higher math, my feet start to hurt. Like that's an indication to me that my brain's overloaded. <laughs> and so sometimes Val's explaining something to me and I get tired and my feet start hurting. And that's, that's a sign to me that it's just too much for my brain. So I tell her, my feet hurt. And then she knows that she's overloading me with information. And then I get frustrated because it shouldn't be overloaded. And then I go take a nap. And then you go take a nap. Yeah. I have frustrations. I, I'm working on three pieces right now. One of them I've worked on for like two years. And it's not even, it's just a study. And then the other one that I just started recently, I've been working on for like, months but i had to re redo it i had to regesso it all because it just i realized that the concept wasn't working i didn't out. do it that time i didn't point things out that no, time no no but when i get frustrated it makes me slow down <laughs> and i just i don't want to deal with it Troy's going after you today huh Troy's going after you today smaller list <laughs> what doesn't take what doesn't frustrate you yeah it's probably a smaller list. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So let's get some of that in there. Like I said, this one is behind the other one. And what I've kind of been stuck with, stuck on, is I know some of these are lighter, including up here, which this one and this one layer wise are the same. But this one has light shining behind it, and this one is dark, and so I'm frustrated trying to visualize how dark do I want to go on these leaves to still have the extra light that's coming in, which is why we have the foam there and the light up here, versus here where it's darker, and there's a lot of it, so I'm going to have to... Hmm? I know what's going on with her. She wants a cookie. 
Because she always wants a cookie. I guess she'll get a cookie. <laughs> oh, geez. Pete said when he gets frustrated, his butt hurts. I'm glad that doesn't happen to me. <laughs> uh, we all have our hiccups. I think they're awesome. All right. So I have texture here, but I don't think it's ever bearing. I may need to zoom in since I've been out and we could see. So let's take a ride. Maybe. Sorry about that. Just so you can, if I zoom, it'll get, it'll be less clear. So I don't want to do that. All righty. So I've done this fern without outlining. And that could be some frustration as well if you're going for realism, but you're outlining your subject, you may get frustrated that it doesn't look the way you want it to. So negative burning, and I know I kind of talked about it last week, is what's going to help you. With you. Negative burning is exactly what I'm doing here. I'm going around the lighter areas, marking them out, but putting the darks in this palm, in this firm. But now it stands out to tell me where what it, this, that, and the other is. Now I can, let's see here. Now I can erase, get rid of that pencil line. And see, this tells me I could probably go a little darker here in order to keep that light. Though there are some darks, but I need to go a little darker there. Alrighty. So, let's see here. To go lighter, what I might actually do is switch over to my 18S, uh, yeah, 18S and go lighter. And I can actually, I think I'm going to change these leaves from palm or from fern to just regular leaves and have them lighter so they lay over better. And I think the contrast will help both areas. But my biggest frustration is not seeing, I mean, I have a finished piece in my head for the most part. And it gets very frustrating to me when it doesn't look like that. I'll just put some of this in right now. This is telling me now I need to go darker in order to shape these leaves better. But had I not been frustrated and try this, I would not know that. Frustration really isn't bad. It's only bad if you walk away and never continue working on it. Oh, Nancy's at work. He's frustrated um, because she has no speakers and watching this and her phone keeps interrupting her. Bye, Nancy. Hopefully you see the bye. Let's see here. Now, Troy, <laughs> YouTube held your comment. Hi, Kathy. Thank you. You're better. I'll keep it because I don't see a reason. All right, so now this tells me if I'm going with this layer, this fern's going to have to go darker. And one thing I can't wait to do is to take the denatured alcohol to this and see what happens. But I still have some lines on here that I need to keep. Now, I don't want this highly detailed because I don't want this taking away from the rest. In fact, I think I'm going to kind of reshape it. And I have been frustrated with like the moss and the greenery. So I'll just give more importance to the front and the back. See, I see that I have graphite around this mushroom but hopefully as soon as i wipe it off with the alcohol that'll be gone and done i do think we're gonna bring 
In fact, what I could do is I'm, I think I'm just going to darken this. Maybe it will just be different values that aren't overbearing. I better go darker. All right, I'm going to bump from two and a half to three and a half. Thank you so much, David. I appreciate it. This one, I honestly wasn't sure if I was going to finish it. I kept looking at it, and it was up on my counter. And I'd growl at it, and I'd walk away. And then I'd finish a piece, see this one, growl at it, and walk away. Yeah, I don't think I need so much information here. Maybe this will look better. Yes, it was about a cookie. It's always about a cookie. I know. And she looks so smug. <laughs> I got you. When it happened, she's like, that's right. I own you. Give me that cookie. Mm -hmm. Thanks right. for the cookie. Well, I'm not going to say what, what word she called me. <laughs> it starts with a B. Uh, okay. So what? I think that's looking better. Oh. But I had to stick with it. If I hadn't stuck with it, I don't think... I get what I wanted. I had to, uh, sorry it took so long. I had to flip the chicken. <laughs> and it was all like, Barack! <laughs> That's what's in your head, isn't it? <laughs> Just, no, I pictured like a chicken at a circus. And it was getting flipped What, with head. a drum roll and stuff? Like, <laughs> 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 Gonzo would have been proud. Mm -hmm. All right, let's start. Going. I can't believe it, it was because right, I said it for thirty minutes. I didn't realize we'd already been. We haven't. Remember, I was missing, and yeah, you started but... early. Yes. All right. So I can say this side right here, for the most part, is done. I'm not happy with that mushroom. I'll have to come back to that later. But having this wood to brace my hand makes it a whole whole lot easier. If you can't turn the wood, even turning the wood actually, in fact, I'll do that right now. And I wanted to show one of the reasons why I've been keeping the pattern still attached besides the fact that I'm going to transfer for some fern here and maybe mushroom or rock down here is I've been able to kind of see that my lines are a little lined up because I am freehanding this. Some of this is going to change. Um, which I am totally fine with, but at least gives me an idea of where it's going. So that's why I've kept it attached. And some people have been asking about how to transfer or, or to take a color pencil or sorry, color photo and get the, get it onto wood. This is my, uh, tracing paper that I created my pattern on from my photos. And I put a lot together. All right, so so you oops. you, you basically you create the pattern, which I know in this case took you a while. For this one, it wasn't. I think it took me longer finding photos that I wanted to use. Why you just use the one that you took in your closet that leads to the secret magical world? <laughs> Don't tell them. I already know. No, hi Teresa. Um. But then, okay, so then you drew that on the computer, and then... No, I, I put my photos together on the computer. Um, oh, you drew it by hand? I used my light pad. Okay. So, let me do this without bumping. So then you transferred. So that's drawing it another time. So that's two times. I've drawn this a bunch. Yeah. This is my original pattern, or photo that I... Gotcha. Did. Let's see here. Where's oh <laughs> I'm trying to run my so if you notice I went through and was sketching in which I've changed actually a lot. I didn't transfer the bubbles. Um so these are areas that I, I darkened up so I could see the difference between where things are at. And then use my light pad to create that pattern I showed. And then use the pattern to transfer onto the wood. 
but you figured I've drawn this a whole bunch of times. But I think that helps in trying to get things right. I'm going to move my reference over here. I'm okay with my reference uh, being upright for the most part. My reference being upright while my board is sideways, but I do recommend everybody else whose brain is normal <laughs> to turn your reference and your wood in the same direction. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Huh? What? Yeah? <laughs> I heard that. I so heard that. Let's see here. So. So, have you been talking about? I mean, we started talking about talking to frustration, but. What do you, have you already covered? Like, what do you do when you're frustrated? What do I do when I'm frustrated? Yeah. After cussing aside? Yes. Because that is, tends to be my first um, <laughs> reaction. I'm just going to be honest. I will cuss at my wood for not listening to me. Even though it's not my wood's fault. Um, a lot of times I will step away. Or I will take a very deep breath, tell myself, I know I've got this. I need to be easier on myself. You tell yourself. I tell myself this, that. You're a viral artist. I do. I do. Okay, Stuart. <laughs> I do. Oh, good. I'm so glad you used your light box, Philip. Uh, who else was it? Hi, Roseanne. David's thinking about using a light box. I, I actually really like my light box. I think it's good. You got me that projector. That yeah. projector like helps me on big projects. Um, so yes, I do give myself my own pep talk. I tell you I tell myself the same same thing that I tell anybody else because it applies to me too, even though sometimes I don't feel like it. And how I picked this back up was telling myself I'm just gonna do it mm -hmm. if I don't do it it'll never get done and I'll never know what it looks like well, that's true other than um, I don't tend to walk away from pieces I may put them aside like this one I put aside for way too long I really should have been working on it sooner but I wasn't feeling it, and I was frustrated, and I still am frustrated, and I know that it's going to go deeper in the burn color when I seal it, and when I wipe it off the with the denatured alcohol, any residue graphite is going to be gone. And I had to keep telling myself that it, this is still, I'm still blocking in. I'm still trying to get an idea of how I want this to look. And I just need to chill out. Now, sometimes walking away for a little while may work better for you. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I would just not go a year because you'll forget your plan. And I definitely forgot my plan. So... Barrel um, says no special cocoa for frustration. Um, ran out of the special part. <laughs> Actually, I've been going back to. Normally, I was I was listening to my audiobooks. Here lately, I have been listening to my plates because uh, I have YouTube Red. I pay for it because I hate ads. But I don't want to hurt any creator. She really does hate ads. I hate ads with a passion. Like right. any commercial. Any commercial. She growls and stuff. I want to fast forward to it. Anyway. But I know that, so I pay for it. But that comes along with YouTube music as part of it. So I've been listening to my music very consistently. And I think in doing that, it's shifted my brain a bit. And that has helped as well. So maybe change, whether it's your music or your book or the TV show, whatever you've got going on in the background as you burn, maybe switching that up a little bit so that your brain 
reacts differently. Because I know with the audiobook and me getting frustrated, every time I went to work on this and turned the audiobook on, my brain was like, Ugh, we're doing this again. But now with the music, because I've changed my thinking, when the music's, when I put my music on, put my headphones on, turn it up as loud as I can stand, my brain's like, yeah, we're doing this. I know that sounds so odd, but we train our brains little things that we do. If you eat the same time every day, your brain knows, oh, it's 12 o'clock. It's time to eat, period, whether you're doing something or not. Because you've trained yourself. That's what happens when certain things occur. So, if you're frustrated, I recommend changing up. Try something different. Um, change, I, I do burn incense. I've been doing that more lately. Change up the incense that you use. Not, so your brain associates differently. Mag, mag Champa, right? If you ever burn my Champa in this house, I'll close it in your studio with you. I don't mind. Ugh, I hate that smell. Mm. Everybody has their own thing in my Champa. Yes. Ugh does not work for me. <laughs> so I'm negative burning around the fern while I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it. Do I want to change what kind of leaves they are and move it away from fern? Um, so that I'm just negative burning around the areas until I get some shapes that I'm happy with. I think I'm going to take out And I dialed down the light in the back. I still need to have it, but I'm going to dial it down. And by negative burning around where I want the lighter, it'll still show as light. But that'll give me, hopefully, in theory, these to be lighter. I'm going to go ahead and up my heat to 5 because I've already burned this area. I know I need to up the heat. And using them all has made a big difference on how steady my hand has been. So if you're having an issue, especially being on an easel, with keeping your hand steady, because normally I'd stick my arm under my arm <laughs> and use it to balance that way. Then I get shaky trying to hold both of them up. <clears throat> These are rocks in the back, so I don't care that they're not smooth. Let's see here. I think we're going to take that away. Make it a little more foamy. See, when light is not hitting water directly it is lighter which is why or sorry darker which is why you see the darkness here versus say here because the light <laughs> what do i want to know try once to know where you can buy an egg champa incense <laughs> i'm not telling you i was poking the bear not telling yep. you and you won't be allowed burning it in the house and if you think you'll get hugs because you smell like it, oh no. I knew. I have a specific brand that I like and three different uh, types of incense from that brand. Anything else is yucky. Valerie's a very specific girl. No, I'm sensitive. Anything else makes me have a headache and cranky and. Yucky. Why burn something that's going to make you feel yucky? Now. Yeah. You, you know, a smell that I miss that it's really bad for you. What's that? Is, um. The centronella? No. No? No. Um, we used to get these mosquito coils when I was growing, you know, because growing up, there's a lot of mosquitoes up there. You bought some. Yeah, but they're not the same. Oh. But there, um, so there's a particular smell, but then the really good ones, um, 
the ones that are really effective, they come from Japan, and they will make you lightheaded if you're in the room too long with them. Because you're, you're not supposed to burn them in the house. I know, but when you have that many mosquitoes, you do what you have to do. But it's just kind of a smell that I've grown accustomed to, and it's not even a very pleasant smell, but I... I get nostalgic when I smell it. <laughs> Is that what it does for you? I think so. Hey, Joshua's here. Hey, Joshua. Oh, Greg's not here. Greg's birthday was yesterday as a Sarah's. Mm -hmm. yep. All right. Man, 20. I know. Hit. I know. Hard for me to fathom. Yeah, he is a young woman. It's crazy. No longer a teenager. I'm trying to decide, do I even want to keep those? What? Keep what? The palm, the palm fronds. I like, like them. <sighs> I'm not sure if I like them. So, I mean, I am frustrated with this corner. So what I'm going to do is get off of it. That way I can take a break, not look at it. Maybe I'll like it a little bit more in a little while. There we go. So... I'll take a break from this. I am not happy with it, but I don't mind saying that. And I am going to come over here and we're going to put some fern in or moss just so I can switch my brain. Unfortunately, the camera. There we go. In my face when I'm lean. So I am, I'm definitely frustrated. The ferns, I think, I know why I did it, but I would say in the scheme of things, probably was not my best choice. If I did it over again, I might change the type of leaves, leaves that I feel more comfortable with. So I, I'm losing my reference. There we go. So. I've got a mushroom here. The stem goes back here. So let's kind of give the illusion of the stem being there. I'm still at five, which I'm fine with because I do need to darken up some areas. But I will just bounce around. I'm scribbling. That is the type of stroke I'm doing. I'm just bouncing my pen around. I'm not thinking too much. I have moved away from my reference on the fern, or I'm sorry, the moss. It's not perfect. As long as I can keep up the illusion of moss, I'm happy. Because that's not my main focus in this piece. So I'm just using So light's coming this way. I'm thinking the tail should be lighter. And I will say it's harder to do it on camera because I'll step back away from it and I'll come in later on tonight and look at it and go, what the hell did I do? Why did I do that? I get a bit of amnesia <laughs> trying to remember what I did in life. Because I am multitasking. I need to, yes, I need to move down. I am going to move the camera down. I am hoping to get this piece fully burned by for next week. So that next week we can add some color to it. Maybe. Oh, I do know it needs white. I think that white will help break up some of the burn. Let's see. Yeah. And I'll pop up the picture at the end of where we left off last time so that we can see how much has happened. And I may change my mind 
up here on the top. I may change it and just put rock. Sometimes doing too much can take away what, from what you're wanting. Simpler is better, so maybe I need to remove that. Maybe it's just too much. That's why I'm no longer feeling it. I have made changes because what I thought a year ago is definitely different than what I'm thinking now. I do need to be a little flexible with that. Maybe that needs to be darker, so I will darken. And this um, mushroom is, even though they're on the same plane, this mushroom is in front of these guys. So I think, I'm going to bump down the heat, I need to put a shadow so it makes more sense. Bump down too far. So let's get a shadow in here because we would not see the light on this side. But I would keep the light on this side. And this, that means the shadow needs to be darkened. Oh, you were going to give them the um, clue for the giveaway that I haven't formally announced yet. Okay. So, do we need to, like, recap, like, what yeah, I go. Maybe you should write it down so we can keep up with the clues. That way, we can go over them. Okay. As we add. Right. Well. Um, so I, if you weren't with us last week. Yeah, yeah. I've got a special piece that I am going to be working on. Um, of somebody famous, who I've got permission to use the photo from the photographer, and I'm really excited about that. And people have been trying to guess so. Jason decided we should do it as a giveaway, and whoever guessed first correctly will win a print of that piece. Alright, so that feels and a little better. I don't remember, did we actually do a, a hint last week? We did do a hint last week. What was the hint last week? That it is, that the person is male. Oh, okay. So we have giving a hint. Okay, so now we're caught up. You were going to give the new I hint. I was going to give the new hint. Yep. But you need to write them down so we don't go, what was last week's one? Like, just happened? What? That would never happen. And that was only one. That would never happen. Yeah. yeah. I will okay. write it down. Please. But I need to get a pencil or something. Oh my gosh. I'll, I'll do it later. Pencil. Oh. Oh, hello. Because I've got a pencil right next to me. Okay. I don't want to... Paper. There is paper right in front of you. <laughs> Sometimes... I've got this little notepad. Whatever. No, that's a drawing pad. Oh. You can take one of these pieces of paper right there. Oh. Okay. But this has tape on it. I don't care. I promise we plan this Okay. We've been talking about it since last live, and I, but I don't know what hint you're going to give. Hints. I'm going to do the one that we talked about just before coming on the stream. You mean while I was frustrated trying to get yes, the live door? that one. Oh, goodness. So this, this, the hint. Here's your hint. Keep All right. Up. Hold on. I should have, I should have something that flashes. Hint, 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 hint. Yeah. We just kind of did. <laughs> This person's name is. No, I'm just kidding. Don't you? <laughs> or you're gonna be doing. You're gonna be making art to give prints away. Oh, okay. So you volunteered mine. Okay. This person, their hair, is a iconic part of their style. They have very. Uh, don't do, 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 do. that's the hint. That's it. Okay. That's it. Alright. They'll get more as we get closer to doing it. I don't remember what this is. 
I just realized there's actual rock going up. Okay, I wrote I wrote it down. Yeah. Did I put a mushroom there? Good thing I got that pencil and paper ready. <laughs> All right. Oh shoot! Fire. That's what happened. Oh no! No no no! Okay, I moved it over. Okay. I was thinking I had burned over a mushroom that was right here, but I actually wrapped that mushroom. Whew, okay. False alarm. Alright, I shall keep going. See, this is a lighter mushroom. So I'm trying to negative burn around it. Come on, I bet my pattern. Albert Einstein, no. Well, that is a good guess, actually. Remember, I, well, I guess this would that would technically be the third hand. Well, I got permission from the photographer to use their photo. Nope, not Bob Dylan, but that's a good one. Oh, wait a minute. We weren't going to do that, were we? No. Oops. Well, those are some freebies. <laughs> Oops. I forgot. I wasn't supposed to. One thing I don't care about is how many times people guess. I don't care. Not a big deal. And stay tuned for next week's hint. Let's see here. We have a mushroom. I don't know. But I think I'm going to go ahead and bump down to two and a half. Let's get some shading in here. Now, this is a lighter mushroom again, and it's behind this one. And since the light's coming from this direction, this mushroom is going to be lighter than the other mushrooms, even though they are all, um, all four of these are the same type of mushroom. This one is going to be lighter because it's behind. So I gotta figure out a way. So Val has instructed me to not respond to any of these, so I'm not responding to any of these. But I had already been doing it. I didn't. I, I know. Did I instruct or did you instruct? You just did. Is that what we... you said? We're not doing that. No, I was asking. No, no. So we're not giving hints. No, the hint. Is, I mean, we gave the, the hint. The hint is the hint per week, and if you get it, then we say, "Yeah, you're right." If you don't get it, then we say nothing. The problem. Good guess, Josh. Problem is, though, if somebody's watching this on replay, if we say, it has to be the first person. Who leaves a comment on the video? Uh, Let's skip the live on the guessing because then it doesn't give the people who who could only watch and replay mm -hmm. a chance. Because if somebody gets okay, or 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 I will do two prints: one for chat and one for comments. Mm -hmm. So if you guess it in chat, that's the person who's going to win a print. And if you are watching on replay. And you guess in the comments, you will also win if you're the first person to put it down. I think that's fair, right? Yeah. Because I would like to try to get people to come back and comment, but after they've been in the live stream, I well, based on the comments, a... I already have next week's hint. Do you? Yeah. Okay. So he's the one mainly doing the coming up with the hints. Jason is. So if you don't like it, yell at him. Yep, yell at me. <laughs> I put it back off on you. <sighs> All right, let's bring this mushroom alive. It's alive. <gasps> I got an ice cream yesterday because I was a big girl during my blood draw. Jason got me an ice cream because I didn't cry. And I didn't move away. And I didn't cuss at the laptop. 
Yeah. Even after he made it sound like he was going to have to do four more sticks. Yeah. I was good. So I got Dairy Queen, but I didn't get an ice cream. I got an Orange Julius. You could have, though. I could have gotten an ice cream. The sky was the limit. I asked her for a lollipop, and he laughed at me. She laughed at she you. He enjoyed it, but he didn't have a lollipop to give me. She laughed at you, and then she, under her breath, she's like, weirdo. I don't care. <laughs> I'm proud of my weirdness. Um, yeah, it really bothers you. And I was telling Valerie that in the military, we get stuck so much that it's like a non-event. Okay, I've gotten better from over the years. years. Yeah, you have. And but you're going to have to start sticking me with a needle every two weeks. That's, that's fine. Yeah, easy for you to say. You're just the one doing the sticking. You're not getting stuck. No, that's true. But but we've done this before. Yeah, I stuck myself too. Not with my stuff. No, I had to... I've stuck myself too. Well, when I was in... It's funny because you always give IVs on other people. You don't ever give yourself an IV. I mean, some people do, but... I've had very good, very, I've really never had a good IV. Oh, really? Not if they don't listen to me. But I had a, you know, when I was in Germany, I had a medicine that I had to administer myself that was in needle form, so I had to stick myself. Well, I had to do it too. I think that stuff doesn't bother me. We went through a period when deployment where we were hitting each other with staplers. <laughs> so if you can staple yourself or staple somebody, you know, then I think that a needle is, is like, that's a pretty gentle alternative. What's so rude, Pete? Do I miss something? I don't know. I was a good girl. Well, I already went to the vampire last week, so I have to go to the vampire again this week. Hmm. Well, now chat's full of um, guesses. But there hasn't been a right one yet. No, no. And then uh, <laughs> Wait, talking Newton. about ice cream. <laughs> but I was good. <laughs> Newton. <laughs> I was good, and that one hurt yesterday. He, look, look, I got a bruise. She got me good last time. See? You bruise easily. No, she, let me see, let me see. See, she got me. There it is, there it is, she got me. That's why I got an ice cream, because it was Owie. And you offered. Yep. And then I bought Mexican food. <laughs> yes, that is true. And I was happy. You guys are doing all good guesses, but not yet. But you can't give him you can't give him encouragement like that. Why? It's I, my art it has that you be balanced out. These are terrible guesses. <laughs> you guys are so far off. <laughs> no, because remember we're doing two giveaways: one in chat and one in. All right. What did I do here? I think what I've kind of messed up on is. The rock goes here. And I think this right here was part of a fern that I cut out of my... I don't know why I cut it out, but I cut it out. There was fern that went here. That's where I messed up. Okay. So now I'm going to basically have to figure out how I want to... And that's the frustrating part. And if you pay closer attention, when we had burned this before, I've got a rock. That's a fern coming down, but I've already burnt so dark here, I won't be able to lighten it up as well. So I have two options. I can continue it as a fern. Let's see here. Let's see what happens when I do that. I can have the fern coming up out of the ground. I could do that. Try says Taco Bell Mexican food. It's the greatest. You know that does not come in the house. I know. Troy can eat it on the front porch. Away from me. 
this. Uh, what did I do? What did I do? And this is part of the, you know what? I'm just gonna blend it out. I'm just gonna blend it out. I'm not like that. What I'm doing is pushing it back in the piece, this area. I haven't decided, it's gonna have to be a fern coming from the ground. Maybe. Ugh. I really messed this one up. And that's okay. How can we change it? The only reason you guys know it's a mess up is because I told you. Once your piece is done, I would not point out anything that you feel was a mistake. Because if they don't, if whoever's looking at your art doesn't see it, then it don't matter. And I think that'll calm frustrations down a bit because if you think everybody's going to see it, you're going to get upset. Here, bring this line down. So what we're going to do is we're going to push that back. <sighs> That's not so bad. Okay. I was trying to make a fern there. It's hard trying to create something that never existed. I know you like to. Wow. They really want that print. Yeah? Yeah, there's a ton of, ton of guesses. <laughs> you know. I got to be good because I'm hard Beryl, with surprises. I get all excited and I just want to say it. Beryl and the, and Beryl's, like, Beryl's definitely tapped into, like, who who you, like, like music-wise and stuff, though. Well, because I've talked about Zeppelin and ACDC and Government Mule. Though here lately, uh, my playlist has been playing a lot of Stevie Nicks and Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. And Zeppelin. So I'm going to reiterate, frustration is not bad. It's not, it's not, it's neither good or bad. It just is. It's how you handle it, how you look at it, and what you decide to do with it that makes all of the difference. Frustration is just there. So you can embrace it and use it to create the art that you really want to create and learn in the process because we don't all just start from an awesome place and keep going. We all have to learn. Some of us might have it a little easier because we've done other art for our medias, but we still have to learn this one. But I do think frustration, if you use it and allow it to just be, I mean, if it's not there, then you don't need to create it. But if it's there, you can embrace it, allow yourself to feel it, know that every single artist with every piece at some point in time will always, something will make them frustrated. There will always be a frustration there. You may use a different word for it. That's you, not me. You may use a different word for that, whether it's stress or whatnot. It still means the same thing. So this needs to go darker so I can separate it from that mushroom. Used to, I would get really upset about frustration, being frustrated. And sometimes I've had to walk myself back from the proverbial ledge and not think the world is in ending because I screwed up. And sometimes, yes, the world does end. 
when I get out of <laughs> my world ends. They want the hint again. Go ahead. You can give them the hint. Okay, so exactly the same way. This person's hair is an iconic part of their style. So how many hints are we going to do? Is it till somebody guesses? Well, I, I would assume that we would keep doing hints until you're done with the work. Until I'm done with the work. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. So Pete said his frustration recently was the bird on the geisha panel, which is why I sanded it out and stuck the bonsai tree in. Well, see, that made you think in a different way and reevaluate your composition and decide maybe something else would work better. This, and this goes for me to big time. But just because I have an idea and a plan doesn't mean that's what I absolutely have to stick to all the time. When I have relaxed a bit, and this has taken me years and years, and I still continue to, to fight it and whatnot, when I relax and just let things be, and I will say that chat and being on YouTube has helped that, doing the lives, where I'm like, hey, let's try this. I would not normally have done that in the past. Or when somebody's asked me a question that I didn't know the answer, but I could test it out. That has made me more bold. Even though I'm still... I've used the frustration on some things. Again, I'm still completely working on all this myself. Um, but using frustration to not beat myself up, not compare myself to others, and I am just as guilty as everybody else. I, though I do look work hard at when I see a piece that I really like, I look at how they did, how the other artists did it, and decide whether or not that's something I want to incorporate or try. Maybe I like it, but it doesn't work for how I burn. But all of that goes together in growth. So if you're feeling frustrated, maybe try looking at how you can use it to be more bold. Because in the end, do I really need to stress out about this? This is a piece of wood that, yes, I've put a lot of time into. I'm easily over 25 hours on this piece. <laughs> no, all these good guesses. <sighs> the rock. Yeah, no hair. Um, I think Borrow just wants to be right. What was I saying? It's just a piece of wood. I put a lot of work into it, but it's just a piece of wood. Is the world going to end? Is something bad going to happen if I mess up? And the answer is always going to be no. I might have to start over. That might be frustrating, but you know what? In starting over, I think I could do a better piece than this one. Troy says it's at Swamp People. No, none of my relatives. None of my, none of my ancestors. <laughs> I would be the photographer, though. Unless he's talking about Swamp People, the show, but I don't think he is. For what? Because there's a show called Swamp People. Oh. But I don't think he's talking about that. And those people aren't my relatives. No? You no, sure? they're Hollywood Swamp People. They're Hollywood Swamp People? Well, they may be Swamp People, but they're not related to me. They're far <laughs> too fancy. <laughs> with, their, <laughs> with their boats and their alligators. Hmm. <laughs> Your pe your people are more the Monty Python, yes, dirt people. Stand in the swamp. Yes, exactly. Is right? that what you're saying? Oh, there's some lovely filth over here. <laughs> you know, old woman. Yes. <laughs> I'm not old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need to watch that again, especially since we just finished Stranger Things. I know. All right. Oh yeah. 
Stranger oh. Things. Wow, that was good. No spoilers. David says frustration makes him think about how to do things differently because of my, his handicap. And you're absolutely right on that. It makes you look at things differently and how to resolve what you may perceive at that time a problem. But as you keep going and keep going, you realize it really wasn't a problem. It was being overdramatic. You're being a Jason. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> First I thought that I misheard it and you were just saying adjacent to so like next to something. Then I realized what you did. What you said. What did I do? You just besmirched my man. I besmirched <laughs> It is not your name. You have, you have crossed the line. You have. What have I done? You have attempted to besmirch the honor of the <laughs> swamp people. Okay, I think we are going to go ahead and end it here since we're trying to keep the lives shorter. But I am going to back out. Whee! Here we go. And I'm going to do this. Whee! Maybe. Yeah. And then I'm going to do... See, one of these guesses actually... Did somebody get it? No, 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 oh. no. But it was one of the ones that I thought that, that was going to come up. And I'm not going to say who it was, but um, but one of them was one of the ones that I thought would would be indicative of like I thought it would come up, and it did. You're going to have to tell me which one. Well, I'll tell you after the live's over. Okay, just remember when they can't hear us. Oh, I think I might have two guesses on who you think it is. Two. All right, so last week this is where we finished last week. And this is where we are now. I'm so glad I started getting this this moss in. Because huh. it's starting to feel better. Whew. It does. It, looks, it is starting to feel better. Actually, how, it looks how better on camera. Has occurred. So, yes, in a week. Mm -hmm. Because that is where we ended last week. I'm just looking. Because sometimes... The I like the coloring on camera for this one better, but it's closer to that coloring. But I like that better. Yeah. And this way, I'm I'm looking at where I, if you notice the fern or yeah, the fern is what I've been most frustrated in, and that's what I'm saving for last. Which I don't know why, because if I mess up, I do think I've gotten too far to start up. But the fern goes all the way down here. Well, that looks good. I am becoming happier with this. When I the frustration for this one, I really did just think about guys never touching it again. But I'm glad I haven't done that. Yeah. But looking at it, I need to drop that line so that it makes more sense here. I actually need to do some sanding here. We can do that real quick. Sitting here, and every so often I have to stop because this rock should continue a bit up here. Let's see what happens if I do this without touching the mushroom. I'm going with the grain. I think this will feel a little better, and I will smooth this out. I'm just trying to get the, so we all see. Mm. Let's see here. It's still not extremely obvious. I'll have to re continue to reshape it yeah. to uh, bring it down. Um, what are you looking for? If it's what I say, it's at the very top. Mm. Oh, you're going for her. Okay. <laughs> I did know you. Thank you so much, Pete. I am definitely happy. What are you doing? I don't know. I see that. That's that one, isn't it? No. <laughs> what you, it's not. No. Is it that one? Yes. 
But you're going to pop them all up. No, I don't want to pop them all up. <laughs> it don't... You got to do the arrow on the left. He's learning oh, technical the difficulties. Arrow. There we go. There you go. There we go. There you go. There you go. That's all I wanted. And then this one. Okay, there yeah. you go. See? There we go. <laughs> Me to do new Bernadettes. Uh oh. But he's. She's occluded, but that's okay. I'll do that. There we go. All right. And don't forget. Okay, you need to go away now. Thank y'all. Don't forget. Rude. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget. You are your, awesome. You can do like that. that. <laughs> You're a pyro artist. Whatever. <laughs> Happy burning, guys. Bye. Bye. It's going to just keep popping up because you didn't take it off. I, you took it over. I'm just going to keep it. You Is there a reminder? Over. There we go. <laughs> Happy burning, guys.